What makes a good level up in OSRS? What makes it something that you want to look forward to? This is a question that I want you guys' opinions on, and it's something I've been kind of going over in my mind while I look forward to leveling. This question came up while I was training construction here, and I love that skill and can't wait to actually fill up my house with all the stuff that actually matters, not just more larders. But despite construction being so costly, I do find level up super exciting. Why is that? I think it comes down to that each level in construction just matters. There's almost always a new unlock, so even if I'm not building it for a while, I still feel like I actually reached a new level. Contrast this with your average thieving level up, one of my most hated skills. You get almost nothing for each level in thieving. And if you do, it's what? A different NPC to click on for hours, if that even matters? I don't know how it is for you guys, but skills like thieving make me feel like levels don't even matter. They're just arbitrary distinctions, and the only real levels are those you actually get perks from. Not just an unlock, but an actual perk and benefit that helps you as a character. This might stray more into the topic of what skills are good, but pretty much every skill in OSRS lacks that fun feeling when you actually get a level. Thieving? Cool, I'll click this dude instead for 4 hours. Fire making? Maybe if the 99 level unlock was for me to burn the update that adds to the game, okay. Cooking? I would burn that skill faster than I burn my sharks. I think the main two things the worst skills lack when it comes to having fun level ups is consistent unlocks and skill levels actually mattering outside the unlocks. One is pretty simple here, it's just fun to see the cool stuff you can do with the level up, even if you don't really need that content. I would love to see more variations, shortcuts, and perks to fill out this list, so there's always something being unlocked that really did amount to some kind of nice marginal bonuses for your character. As for the second one, this one's a little harder to work for every skill, but think of the combat skills. They don't really have as many unlocks, but since each one brings new gear, those unlocks really matter. Looking past even that though, each point matters. Strength not only unlocks tiers of weapons, each individual level up increases your character's potential damage. So even if you are missing an unlock for that tier, you still feel like you accomplished something. You got something for your time. You actually reach a new level and can start hitting just a little bit harder in different gear setups. That's fun. Contrast this with fire making where it just feels like I'm burning all my bank money for, as firewood and the only thing I'm getting is a one second good job that I always accidentally skip anyway, so that's no fun. I know this is a pretty minor issue in terms of how the skills are designed, and obviously you only do it exactly 98 times for any individual skill on an account, but it just kind of hit me like a wall when I was training construction. I was actually kind of confused, I was like, huh, I'm excited, no, I'm eager to get that level up, so I want to keep playing instead of just AFKing the game while I do something else. And that's a pretty rare feeling for me in the game like OSRS, and I want to see it happen more often, it's part of the game and it's part of what it can do really well. Hey, I'm Grant. I do these little discussion videos every Saturday with my views as a casual player in OSRS. I'd love to hear your own take on this in a comment below or on my Twitter, at Taken, the number 4 Grant D, or in-game under the same username. A like or subscribe goes a long way to keeping these coming out, and I hope to see you guys again next week.